What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be part two of the three part series I'm doing on how I edit my music videos. In part one we covered importing your footage into Premiere, properly setting up a new sequence, and syncing up your performance shots to the audio. In part two we're going to cover cutting up your performance shots and adding some b-roll to the timeline. So let's just get started. When making a cut there's pretty much two ways you can go about doing this. You can either go to the razor blade tool and just click on the clip wherever you want to make a cut. The way I like to do it is I have a hot key set up for my number one key. So if I just press number one on a clip, I can make a cut or shift one and cut all the clips. So if you would like to learn this way, um, I'll make a tutorial about all the keyboard shortcuts I use. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to turn on the first clip that we put in the timeline. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to cut out everything that we really like and delete everything that we don't want to use in the video. So let me show you what I mean. So I love that shot. That's actually the opening shot in the LV video. So I'm going to go to my regular way tool and I'm going to make a cut. Or again, I'm just going to click on the clip like I like to do it and then make a cut with a one key. So now I'm going to keep playing through this track. So maybe I like this clip right here. So I'm going to delete this before it. So I'm going to make a cut after the, where I want to stop. Maybe I like that. So I'm going to cut that out. So I'll make a cut right there. Maybe I like that. Cut that out. That. So I'll make a cut, delete before that. Alright, so that's going to do it for that clip. So now I'm going to select all of the clips on this track and again right click and click enable. Turn them back off. So now we're going to do the same thing for the next clip. Go to that, turn it on. And the thing to note, I don't have that many clips in the timeline for the purposes of this tutorial and speed. You never want to use all of your clips right at the start. So make sure you, you leave some good distance in between when you're using the different locations and etc. So I'm going to use this clip later on in the timeline for the purposes of this tutorial. and delete that so now same thing I'm going to turn off these clips press my U key now I'm going to go to the next section of clips which is going to be the bedroom scene and I remember this because of my color labels so I'm going to turn the first one on So now I'm going to delete right there. Make a cut right here. Maybe I like where she's going. Moving 
So I'm going to delete the rest of that clip, turn everything on this track off, go to the next clip, turn it on, same thing. Maybe like when she comes up right here. Alright, so now what we've done is we've created our performance shot selects. So now we have to go through all of our performance shot selects and decide what actually makes it into the real timeline. So let me show you how we do this. So we're going to go to the first clip that we've cut out, that's a select, and we're going to turn it back on. It's obviously the only performance shot right here, so that's what we're going to drag into the timeline. On the first track is going to be our performance track. So now as you'll see, the first performance shot in the timeline has a letter box on it because it's under the adjustment layer that we created in the first video. So now we have a letter boxed shot. So now we go to the next shot. This is the next shot. There's nothing else above or below it like some of these shots. So we're going to turn it on and drag it to the timeline. And what you want to do is you just want to build a whole timeline of performance shots before you ever add any other B-roll effects or anything else. You want to just focus on your performance. So now we'll turn all these on. Alright, so maybe I like how that flows together. Cut all those using the shift one. So I'll drag this down into the timeline. Turn this off. Drag this into the timeline. Turn this off. Alright, turn this off. See what that looks like. We'll cut on the beat right here since he's about to say another word. We'll cut on the beat. Try this clip, turn it on. I don't really like that. Try this clip. Maybe I like that, so I'll drag that to the timeline. This is the only clip right here, so this is going to make the cut. Drag it to the timeline. Turn this on. Try this clip. Don't want that. This. Maybe I like that. Bring that to the timeline. Turn this off. Try this clip. So maybe I like that. Okay. So this would be my performance timeline. So now that I have all of my performance timeline. I'm going to save this, and then you can just go through it and check it out. Alright, so it's looking good. So now that we have our performance timeline done, now we want to start working on our B-roll. So what I'm going to do, we're going to create a new sequence. So File, New, Sequence, or Control n Create another sequence. Then we're going to take this sequence right here, click on it where it says Sequence 07, and drag it till it turns purple at the bottom. Now we have created what's called a pancake sequence. So now we're going to go to our B-roll folder. We're going to select everything in our B-roll folder and then drag it to the pancake sequence timeline. We're going to delete all of the audio from anything that has audio with it. Unlink, delete the audio. And now what we want to do is do the same thing that we did to our performance shots is we're going to make some select. So we're going to go through and select all of our favorite footage and delete all the stuff that we just don't like.
And yeah, we're going to pretty much keep doing this until we have cut out all of our B-roll selects. So now that we have cut out all of our favorite B-roll selects, we're going to start adding them into the master timeline. I'm going to just go, I'm just going to go to the first clip that I personally want to use and drag it up to about the third track. It's a 60 frame slow motion shot, so I'm going to right click it, speed duration, and 60 frames per second is equivalent to about 40% on the speed, so I'm going to make it 40%. On this beat change right here, I'm going to select my next clip. I'm going to delete this clip from the B roll timeline. And on my next clip, drag this up into the timeline. Do the same thing. Right click, speed duration 40%. Cut a little bit of this off. On that beat, I'm going to come in with a first performance shot. And then I'm going to delete that clip. On this little beat change right here, I'm going to add my next clip. I'm going to go to a horse scene. I'm going to have her walking in the horse. Put this in here. Right click. Speed. 40%. On this little beat change right here, I'm going to cut this clip because I know I'm going to do an effect, an effect later. I'm going to have the horse passing in front of the sun, like in the real video. This find another clip. Maybe use this clip. Alright, so that's it for the B-roll. Now we've got all the B-roll in, in the timeline. And keep in mind guys, this, this is a really, really, really fast edit for me. This is just for the purposes of showing you my workflow and how I edit music videos. I'm not really taking my time and making precise decisions and really thinking stuff out right now. I'm just showing you the workflow so you guys can use the same workflow and understand how it works. So when I drop my future tutorials, you'll be able to follow along and know exactly what's going on. So now that we've added all, the, all of our B-roll, let's play the video and see what we've got. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this tutorial. Part 2 is over. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it's helping out a lot. If you guys like the content, please, please, please be sure to subscribe. If you don't want to, that's cool too. But at least give the video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share the video with all your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.